My daughter comes up to me after I've completely finished Christmas shopping. I need a secret Santa for school. I'm like, I'm not going back into the shops again. Are you crazy? Um, so I'm like, okay, okay. And then I go into my cupboard and I find this fluff. Now this is leftover um, the fur, fluffy fur. It's leftover from when I was doing my um, pom-poms for the um, beanies. Now I just make the pom-poms when I make the beanie rather than having a big stash. So I've got this and I'm like, oh, I could make a pouch. And I found a zip and I found a couple of um, felt balls. So I might use one, I don't know, two, one. I thought I could use them as a zipper pull. So we'll see how we go. And I'm thinking maybe a triangular shape coin purse or something like that, something a little bit different, but. So I'm not using a pattern to make this pouch. Um, I'm just gonna wing it. First off, I think I need to trim it down to size. I think it's too big. I need like a square. And I just think it's just too big. So I'm thinking about there. Let's just see if I can cut the fabric and not the fur. This is gonna be fun. Yeah, there we go. Just patience.
Okay, here's the truth time. Did it work? Oh, I don't think I've actually made this opening a bit wide enough, but we'll see. We'll see. Make sure the zip's open. Yes. We'll poke through the fluffy bit first, I think. I changed my mind about doing a triangular purse. I mean, this fluff is really hard to work with. It's really slippery underneath the sewing machine needle and it's bulky and it's really hard to pin. So hopefully it's still going to look cute as a rectangle purse. And it kind of looks cute from what I'm looking at. Let's have a look. All this here, we can pull that out here later. But let's just work on getting these corners out. Where's the opening? Where's the opening? There it is. One corner. Oh, look, there's a hole. Can you see the hole? Let's go fix that up right away. Somehow I've managed to get a hole. It's this corner. Where's the hole? Oh, my, all the fluff. Oh, here's the hole. Okay, all right, I see the problem. Now I've got to pull it all the way back through. No. That's why we test these things. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, what corner was it? It was this one here. Oh, you can see, like, because it's it's slid, slid off. Because it's so furry, you can see my line of stitching coming off here. That's easily fixed. We'll just put this baby back under. Come on, under you go. Somehow up to a line of stitching. All right, that'll have him. And then we'll just might just take off the excess fur again. Oh, the fur. Look at that. Let me cut this off. Okay. Fleur, fur central or fluff central. Combination of fur and fluff. Fluff. Ah, oh, come on. You can do it. You came out before. All right. Let's have a look. Okay. All right. Let's try again. Find the bottom corner. Yep. Perfect. That corner's perfect, looking good. That's on nice and secure. That's up, that looks good. That corner looks good. All right, so we'll just have to close off all the fluff. Oh, my fluffness. Close it off on the side. I did it on the side rather than on the bottom. So I thought I could hide it better. All that fluff. Over here, your thread. Okay. Close. All right. You know what? This hasn't actually taken very long at all. I think it was the thought of it that was what was more, took the longest. All right, let's have a look. Oh my gosh, look at that. So I've got that, so I thought they could hang it on their school bag because it's, you know, for a, a school kid. This zip works. It's a little bit fiddly holding this down, but I think it worked out really well. I'm not caring that it's a little wonky at the end. Oh, this looks awesome. And now just to deal with this bottom, I'm just going to pull the ends out. It's that easy. You can see how, like, it's all caught in. But if then if you just run a pin through... And I might do that with a cup of tea because I'm thirsty. But that is what it looks like. So I'll finish doing that. It's very easy. It comes out. With a, I'll put the kettle on and pull these out whilst I wait for the kettle to boil. But in the meantime, that's it. That did not take long at all. What? I think it probably took like 10 minutes. How cool is that? One of a kind. Nice lining. They can put their lunch money in there, the pocket money. They can put a toy. They can put their lip balm. It's, it's like almost, it's almost 
you got to remember, it's for a grade four, so the hand's going to be smaller than... <clears throat> excuse me. I think I've got fluff in my throat. It's going to be a, for a grade four, so the hand's going to be slim, smaller than mine, but they'll be able to um, put anything in there. I can get. I, I mean, I can get my hand in there. I'll imagine that as a glove. Oh. All right, that is my Secret Santa gift. Super easy. You don't need a pattern. It's just a rectangle. Two rectangles on the outside, two on the inside. A zip. This was just a bit of ribbon. And this was off a lanyard um, that I got from a event we went to. So I just cut the lanyard off and kept the little, the little attachment. Easy peasy. And I just found this on the table as I was cleaning up. I was like, oh, that's right. I was going to put it on here. So I've just been sewing. Got the thread. Just been going backwards and forth on the pom-pom just to make sure that's secure enough. And then very technically, I'm just going to put it on here like this. Hopefully it holds. Um, if it doesn't work, then I'm not going to cry a river over it. I just stabbed myself. What does it look like? It looks all right, doesn't it? I don't care if it falls off after we give it to him. <laughs> I mean, it shouldn't do, but anyway. Let's just sew it all around and see if we can just, yeah, that looks cute. I probably could have attached it with a, oh, what's one of these or something, but uh, it's all about time, getting it done. I think this looks kind of cute anyway. Look at that. Woo All right, so that is that. I think, anyway, and then I'm just going to tie it off with a knot and it's done. Okay, so I think that was easier. I tell you what, it was definitely easier than going into the shops at this time of year, finding a car spot. And it's summer here, but it keeps, oh, it's cold, it's raining. Um, so we've got to park up on the roof with the car, um, on the car park and, um, you just get drenched. It rains all the time whenever I go. And then you've got all the people in the shops and I'm just like, no, get me out of here. And, um, it's just, I did not want to do it. And I think this is more awesome. Anyway, look at that. How cute. I'll just finish this off in here somewhere. And last year for Secret Santa, I made another, um, I used another one of these old lanyard, um, what is it called? Hardware. And I made, um, I think the letter, I can't remember who it was, I think it was an R. I made an R for the kid and um, just freestyled that on the sewing machine, just a letter R with a piece of fabric and attached it to this and that was that present. But now this is this one. Look at that with the pom poms. Pom 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 pom. Ah, look. Pom 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 pom. Pom. Okay. Tell me, what do you think? If you were a nine-year-old girl or a ten-year-old girl, and this was your secret Santa, would you be happy with it? Do you think I should put a chocolate in it? Like a little, like a, like a chocolate in it as well. What do you reckon? I think it's awesome. Actually, I want this, but anyway. Okay. Thanks for watching.